Soybean row spacing can affect yield. At least that's what research indicated at a recent soybean management field day. Over the last three years, trials with row spacing components have shown there is a different result from planting 30 and 15 inch as well as drilled rows of beans. But moving gaps between rows can also open up disease pressures. We recently talked with Greg Kruger about the research in a state featuring farmers utilizing all three options. Between the 15s and 30s, we're probably about half and half, and we've got just a few guys that are still drilling beans in, but that's a pretty small percentage, Jeff. So what's the, uh, the, uh, the reason for looking at row spacing? Why do you think you, there might be an advantage to switching between any of the three? Well, certainly we know that uh, plants develop yield through uh, photosynthesis, and so the more sunlight we can capture, the greater that photosynthetic rate is. So. Uh, our hypothesis when we started based on past lit, uh, research and stuff that's going on in other states is that with the narrower rows so we can capture uh, sunlight at a greater efficiency because we're going to canopy over earlier in the season. And what does it look like? What kind of results are you getting in, in a cool year like this, mind you? Well, it, it certainly uh, uh, our, our hypotheses were right that uh, we're seeing the narrow row spacing certainly uh, pay off in the long run. We're seeing somewhere between 5 and 10 percent uh, yield increases in most cases. and uh, you know, certainly the farther north we get, uh, Nebraska being pretty north than the, the Corn Belt, uh, we're going to have a higher advantage or more advantage to those narrow row spacings because our growing season's a little bit shorter. Uh, a year like this, where uh, it's been a cool uh, year, late planting, those narrow row spacings are going to play even a greater role in uh, e uh, yield. You mentioned uh, today that there was some research at Illinois that said there's a difference in diseases once you start to switch around row spacings. Explain that. Yeah, so uh, when we talk about uh, yield advantages, that's uh, assuming that we've got a perfect growing environment like we, we have at most of these soybean management field day sites where we have full irrigation, uh, limited disease and insect pressure and things like that, uh, good weed control. Um, in a situation where we, we may have uh, disease pressure or something like that, that wider row spacing may actually play an advantage. Uh, for example, uh, if we've got white mold problems, uh, that wider row spacing seems to be uh, very advantageous because we get more airflow through the canopy and we're seeing lower disease incidence rates in, in those types of situations. How does this relate? We talked to you last year at uh, the Soybean Management Field Day about plant population. How does it relate to, I mean, obviously this is a canopy situation, but uh, just in terms of total growth? Yeah, so uh, certainly uh, the higher the plant population, the quicker we get canopy. Uh, we do see a little bit of a yield increase from bumping those populations up, but we got to be real careful that we don't get plant populations so high that we uh, induce lodging at the end of the season. It can make it really tough uh, for our growers to try to pick that uh, soybean up off the ground if it's, uh, if it's severely lodged. Um, in terms of plant population itself, we really didn't see a huge effect on yields, uh, pretty modest uh, in most cases, as long as we were over about uh, 75 or 80,000 plants per acre. Um, when we look at the economic sweet spot, we're probably wanting to get those growers in that 125 to 150,000 plants per acre. So they're probably going to need to seed just a little bit higher than that uh, at the beginning of the year. What should a farmer weigh if he or she is thinking about making a difference in row spacing? And I'm sure there are some equipment things that play into that. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. And that's probably why we see uh, uh, some diversity in who's in 30 inch rows and 15 inch rows. Is that a lot of guys are going to plant what they've got the equipment for. So if you don't have the equipment for a 15 inch row, uh, it, it makes it tough to switch over. Uh, if, uh, if we were to make a recommendation to our growers, uh, I'd say if you're going to go buy a new planter, uh, look at buying a 15 inch row planter, but I wouldn't jump out uh, and go buy a, a planter just for that unless I was running thousands and thousands of acres because what you're going to uh, pay for is going to have a slower turnaround period just because it is, uh, even though a 5% yield increase is significant, it, it's not going to pay for a quarter of a million dollar piece of equipment overnight. <music>